Hey everyone, this is Jake, and today I'm here again with another review video, and this time we are going to be talking about Wake Maria. I think she's a very unique character, her damage output is very good, but she's definitely not must, must have meta units kind of thing. So if you want to skip, I think you should be okay. But if you're interested in pulling her, I have a couple footage, especially from the PvP sides, so you can watch it for yourself and decide if you are on a fence about it. But let's jump into video and talk about Awaken Maria. So quickly to summarize her kits and stuff, basically she is a pure DPS unit when it comes to most of her kits. Her special skills as well as the alt skill does a lot of damage. Her special skill can also apply stun as well as anti-healing. So that's also really really good with the PvP. Her ults will do a lot of damage like I said and has a lot of valid hits and also able to dispel the barrier from the enemies so that's another huge plus. Her damage output is really high because she gets a really high crit damage from her passives so she can get 100% and not to mention she also has a really high base crit rates as well almost 80% so that's what makes her just consistent good crit damage DPS units. It's not guaranteed crit, if it was I think she will be much better. She has another plus which is the backstab. She is able to take certain amount of damage, she will then help her back to the ships and move forward once again. This can trigger twice so this is pretty useful skills for your ranged units to have because it will definitely increase your survivability and take the last damage from the units. Last thing she has is her portal gimmicks and depending on how I utilize it, it could be pretty good or it could be kind of annoying. But the, basically, she is able to open up a portal in a two space on the map. First portal will be on your ships, so whenever you deploy onto your units close to your ships, they will be teleported to whatever the portal ends. With the PvE contents, it will be a little bit behind the mid range, and with the PvP contents, it will be just almost close onto enemy ships so you can get to their face pretty quickly especially with the PvP contents. So it is pretty decent depending on how you utilize it. If you can't utilize it well I think you will see in this PvP clips that she can pull up pretty magical stops and it's a lot of fun to just kind of mess up with enemies backline and things like that. So overall it's all about managing the costs especially with the PvP. But if you can pull up, she can get some really, really nice gameplay, and it's a lot of fun. But that should summarize her kits, and then we also should be talking about her gear setup as well. Her gear setup is pretty simple, it's just utilizing maze gear. The faster you can spam her special and ults, will be dishing out most amount of damage she can pull off. So try to utilize those sets, and you should be do pretty well. Now, when it comes to PB contents, I don't think there is a must-have spots for her. So you can definitely skip her out and you shouldn't miss out too much. But if you pull her out, you can utilize her with the Dimension Trimming. Her skills are pretty good damaging and her pull could be pretty useful, especially if you're playing with Autocom or certain stages and such. Mm, raid, I think, I would say is pretty good, but you don't really have you don't really need to have her, I think. At this point, I can one-shot Raid without having her. So for PB sides, I can't recommend it, but if you pull her out, there is definitely spots to be used. PvP, like I said, I think that's probably her main usage and where you're gonna have the most fun with because she is pretty unpredictable character, especially to the enemies. And when the Maria pops up and they send through certain units into their backlines, they are going to be like, fuck, <laughs> kind of feeling, you know? So it's a lot of fun to utilize Maria. And I think it's always most fun to kind of use Good units, but not totally meta. So it's always fun to use those kind of units because I think meta units definitely gets bored after a while. So you want to kind of branch out and use many different units that's available. And Maria definitely fits into that category and have a lot of fun using her. So you can enjoy the rest of the PvP clips I have in this video, and uh, you will see. I think she's pretty fun. But the overall, I think Maria is very solid and fun character. It's just that the future Awakening character coming out, like Regina or like Chifuyu or Zadia, I think they are going to be much more meta changing, especially with the PvP contents. And with the PvE, they definitely have better usage here and there, I think personally. So yeah, you probably want to utilize it in those contents instead. But uh, that is pretty much it for this video, I think. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And this is Jake. I will see you guys next time.